Let's get ready to crumble. 111 takes off as your leader into turn number one. It is going to get chaotic immediately here at the Speedball. Looks like Richard Johnson in the eight Massachusetts is going to go to the lead down the backstretch. And then we are going to try to keep track of everybody behind them. The mayhem has started in turn number three. A couple of cars ganging up. We're looking to see who's going to have trouble. We have a spinner, the 0-1 in turn number three but it is the eight who leads lap number one. Zero one, able to right the ship, now coming through the infield, trying to get back onto the speedway without any more damage, and a good job there as the car guy, zero one, back to the track. Yeah, that's the car guy transport machine. So he went splish, splash through the grass, and he's back on the asphalt. We're going to look for our leader to come through, and right now it's still the number eight. The early advantage goes to Richard Johnson. I think one of my favorite cars is back there. And there goes the five around. He almost got one of our victims. Oh, and it looked like Bertrand uh, goes to the high side and gets around in that 79 car. We have another spinner working its way on the 29. That's the car I passed on Route 9 on the way down here. <laughs> Craziness all over the speedway. And we already, John, have two barricades right together off turn number two. One is the five which belongs to Justin Provost, and I can't tell who that other car is, perhaps 88 it looks like. So that's Brian Barrico, who was our, our first two victims on the track. Yeah, tough deal sitting there during this thing as we go four, three and four Whoa. wide, the 29 almost gets into that car that was spun out there on the high side of turn number two. Well, and when you're looking at them come at you, that has got to be a frightening experience when they're four wide and somebody's got to like back off. Three and four wide action all the way around the speedway. Big trouble in turn number three. Okay. Looks like the 79 of Bertrand. Another car is up in smoke. That's the 18 machine. Yeah, I think that car is losing, that van is losing a tire. That is not something that you're taking the kids to school later this month. Actually, that red, white, and blue car was the 43 that had the issue. Okay. 43, Richard DeBase. So we look around the track. And, oh, there goes the 18. He went to the car wash. <laughs> Still got a car there in turn number two just sitting there like a lame duck. Well, I think, I think oh, the, the, the red, white, and blue car, number 32, almost gets a Well, I don't know where he saw a lane to go by on the outside. <laughs> here, Craziness. Here comes a, uh, a wiggle, a waggle, and uh, that teddy bear probably is going to throw up after something like that that's on the top of that car. That's Richard LeMay. The 79 retires to the safety of the infield. He has seen enough. <laughs> he is going to live to fight another day. Three wide again in turn three. Here we go. The Volvo, number 18, gets a little bit sideways as they come out of turn four now. So he was back from the car wash and back onto the track. Our leader remains the number eight belonging to Richard Johnston. Then it's the five. Justin Provost and the 27, as it shows on the scoreboard. That is Alan Coates, Jr., who's uh, picked off a few of these before. As a matter of fact, Coates is two for two and is the points leader in the compact Enduro standings. Jim Bavalaco, Justin Ducharme, Ethan Russell, and Paul Thurlow are the top five. Ten laps already complete in this one as the Enduro cars continue to zip around the speed bowl. Look at that battle out there in turn number two down the back stretch. And they're going to go, what, three, four wide into turn number three. Here comes the car guy. And he whistles down into turn number one. Way up high is the Bicentennial 43. Oh, trouble right here in the front stretch. We've got a car nearly going around. Goes through the muck and still, no, through the car wash. Still in the middle. And gets back out on the speedway, but we got a wet track in turn one. Well, that's just going to make things more fun going down into turn number one. So we'll look to see who that character is. As I said, the 29, former Brad Vogel song machine. And that is the 67X, Robert Jones, who's uh, splish splashed his way some water all over the track. And look at that. One guy spins out, nearly hits the idle car, the 88. <laughs> Maybe it's get him a mercy push. I don't know. Uh, I think we're going to have another retiree, as perhaps that uh, looks like it has a flat right front, and I think that's Roadmap Mitch. 
Yeah, Mitch goes to the infield. We have a spinner off turn. Uh, the car guy has had some issues. He's digging up our infield. Yeah, tons of smoke right there from the car guy. That car's got some horsepower. Gets back out. I three, know, right? Three wide here in turn number four. Three wide homicide, and they get through it. You know, the 18 looks like it's taken a few hits. If you look at it at that front. We are covered in smoke here at the speed ball. Exactly. It's hard for us to, to pick up the action. Here comes the 67. So that is our second place runner of Coates as the field. And if you came here for three wide action, this, this is the event to see it in. The 38 putts across the start finish line. And, well, oh boy. The 42X is causing some issues out there. As they get three, four wide, they get by. 18, still a smoke show. Everybody's still staying semi-safe. Looks like we're going to have another car drop out, the 42X. That belongs to Eric Williams, Jr., out of Gales Ferry. The 38 is barely going to make it into the infield. Joshua Martin picking up a few spots with car number six. Good battle out of turn number four right now. Oh, ho, ho. now, John, I don't know if you saw it, but boy, I held my breath. That zero one spun off turn number two. And I, th there's a time with just, oh, well, uh, before I finish that story, we got to see what's going to happen to turn number three. Whoa, Here so he comes again, back. the car guy. Car guy going crazy with that he, zero one. He car. may be the car guy, but he is not the driver guy. <laughs> Back out onto the speedway. The wipers work. Yeah, good, good deal there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he made a decision to, like, angle himself back out into traffic off the backstretch. Let's see what we got. Mayhem going around over here off turn number three. They were four wide for a second. Bull horns. Mess with the bull, you'll get the horns, young man. Yeah, yeah no I doubt, man. Still so got some pool noodle cars out there. Summer's yeah. not over yet. So the 27 has passed the 67. That, so that's Alan Coach Jr. The 67 is Robert, that's the 67X. So that's Robert Jones. And the eight are our top three. Oh, here we go, John. Somebody, the 111 just backed into the wall after our friend, the car guy, should be called the mayhem guy. <laughs> car guy still in this thing. And we are going to have a red flag. Green is out, and we're back underway. And you got some jumpy enduro drivers. Yep. 69X, he's had enough. He goes to okay, the infield. So That's William Blair. William Blair checks out. There goes our leader, the Matty Tire, number eight. We have a car that checked out off the back stretch. So we are starting to lose. Oh, front, uh, front stretch right here. The oh, 21. The 21. And Trying to get that machine off the track. Good. I take driving. that back. It wasn't. That's the car I passed. <laughs> <laughs> that's Braden at Aitken in that number. Out of Canton. Okay. And he's going to say, "I'm just going to bury it in the mud puddle." Yeah, he's going to get stuck. Meanwhile, way up high goes that red, white, and blue machine. So we are all over the track. Let's see what our next bit of. Lunacy is going to take place. The five, I think, is pushing along the 18, and as the five has its bumper dragging along. When you look for lunacy, you look for the zero one, and here he comes yeah. out of turn number four. Yeah, that yeah is exactly. The car, guy. <laughs> the car guy. So he could have taken out the leader, but he did not. Yep. Pool noodles in uh, in tow there. Good battle again out of turn four. Josh Martin way up high. And we look at this four five car. Slugfest going on over here. The, we know who the, that guy is going to vote for in the presidential election on the back bumper of the number three. As he tries to go uh, to the uh, inside. Well, right now, everybody looks like they're coming. We've seen the six coming off turn number four of Josh Martin quite a few times. I think that that's a, that's a credit that if you're able to keep for all our seasons uh, compact Enduros and not, not be a wreck, that is really something to your credit. 
So. It's the eight, the 67, and the 27. That's your top uh -huh. three. Then the five. We're looking at the five right behind the 29 coming into turn number four. Yeah, I was going to say this six car pileup as they go down the back stretch. And that's the, two, that's the 297. That's Adam Gray out there having some fun. Josh Martin way up high with that number six car. So. Yeah, that is a gaggle of cars uh, just I waiting know. for an accident. That's just waiting for something to happen right there. Volvo's still in this thing. The car guy is still out there. Number five running yeah. fourth right now. Gets around the car Justin guy. Justin Prevost. And here comes our leader again. Second place is the 67. So our leader's going down the backstretch underneath the scoreboard. Oh, trouble in turn four. Okay. There we go. And is that our second place runner, the 67? I, I believe it was. He had a problem and right in front of him. A car got uh, lost his tire, it looked like. And we're going to see, can he duck down? That's the 17 L. That's Larry Darling. Yeah, Larry's down to right front on that 17 L. Good run, gone bad. Meanwhile, three wide and, and turn. There we go. Three. <laughs> Pool noodle Pete pedaling through the grass. That may not be his. That may not be his real first name, but we just <laughs> gave him Pool noodle Pete. That is that's the a 95. Robert LeMay. Leader just going by the stripe, going into turn number one. That is car number eight. Then you look for the 27. Okay, so that maroon car behind the three is the 20. There it is, 27, 27 right okay. there. So, so he's going he's gonna to get lapped in a, in a little bit. Yeah, big lead for that number eight machine. Richard Johnson. Well, right now, I think if you're Richard Johnson, you just kind of hang out and don't get into any trouble. Here we go. Down the front stretch. A lot of battles going on here. That number three getting racy. And that leader's going to have to get through all that yeah, left you, you look at that mayhem in front of him. As we are at the halfway point, does, does he choose to, like, you know what, I'm just going to let those guys do their thing up there, and I'm going to give myself a buffer zone. Whoa, we got trouble in turn number one. Okay, there we go. We knew it was a matter of time before that one popped up. Yeah, they were bumping and grinding for sure. <laughs> As we go out in turn number four. Bumping and grinding and shimmy, shimmy, shaking, and all kinds of stuff going on there that we don't call on a normal Saturday the, night. The car guy is right in front of your second place driver right yeah, now. Yeah, okay. And it looks like he's running out of steam. So yeah. that zero one car is in a t is really having an issue. And our leader is what? No, I think they're back to the 67 X that I thought was going to go up into the wall. So that's the guy running in third. Car guy running some defense yeah. right there. Now there's the eight. Now do you waddle into that mayhem? Uh, now, all right, John, you've done this before. Would you, uh, well, if you're, if, well, you don't, how do you, you don't you know, have, you, yeah, you, you have, have no, no idea where you have are. no spotter. The only thing you got is, uh, is, is just keep going. Just keep your foot in the gas, and uh, hopefully nothing happens in front of you. Well, you know, did you ever see a movie in the, I think it was the late 80s, maybe early 80s, Cannonball Run, Burton? Yes. So, uh, right. What's behind me is not important. <laughs> yeah. So Joshua Martin still in this. Oh, yeah. Oh, the leader <laughs> almost got out. taken out. The five and the five. <laughs> Ganged up. <laughs> yeah, the five and the five X. So that's uh, Justin and Jim Bavalaco. And he is dragging some body parts for the number five. Now the other five gets hooked up and going. So the leader almost uh, almost bit the bit almost bit the dust. Meanwhile, more trouble out of turn number four. Four wide down the front stretch, including your leader. Your leader as he gets by the 43. <laughs> 32 laps to go. So the 67 coming off, dragging that 
Rear bumper, John, that's P3. Sixty-seven CT, and everybody gets That's by the mayhem. Glenn Marion yeah. Jr. Here comes our leader. He's coming up on the next group of mayhem. Zero one, the sixty-seven CT. So he, he's going to put the third place driver a lap down. Still got crazy stuff going on all over the track. Yeah, we've, we've whittled down quite a few cars, but there is still mayhem to be had anywhere you want it. That Uber driver there in that white <laughs> Malibu out of turn number four. That guy isn't getting a tip. The 67X <laughs> machine, and uh, that car's just about run out of steam. That is Robert Jones. I think one of our first compact enduros of the year, I proclaimed that the nicest car out there. I don't know if I feel that way right now. <laughs> Five X. Trying to get around the car guy. Not an easy pass. Yeah. Full contact. Well, right yeah, there. He's, he's there like, yeah, I'm going to help you get out of the way. <laughs> We're getting a black flag for one of our competitors. Oh, boy. <laughs> one of our competitors. Look like Robert Jones. Uh, yeah, that, that could be the next one to, to have to drop out. As we have now gotten under 30 laps to go in our compact enduro of mayhem. Josh Martin. Right now on the outside, the leader of this race goes to the inside, down start finish line. It is still Richard Johnson. Yeah, so he's now got some clear space for a while before he can get into trouble again. And like you said, I think now you, you're just out there and you just keep going and hoping that nobody gets you. Adam Gray still out there in the 297. So the lunacy continues all around the track. Three wide once again in turn four. Joshua Martin on the outside again, that zero one car under power for sure. That looks like a Mazda going into turn number one. And Adam Gray, uh, I take that back, the car guy. He's do uh, I think he's made friends with the five. Yeah, those two guys. Those two guys seem to like each other. A little bit of drafting going on there, Dave. You know, a little road rage on 995, going home from work. The 18 car is all but given up. Bumper, front bumpers on the ground. It's got a flat tire. And here we go. Through the grass, the 95 pushing the 5X. Still looking good out here. Yeah, that's true. The window. It's like Mike Helper getting ready for another black flag. I think that's the ball. That's the 18. Yeah. Looks like the window net the fell down. The precision, the precision fence, number 18. So he's had a bath on the back stretch, and now the net is down. And he will come into the infield. Every once in a while, I think about wanting to try these, and I look at a it lot from. Of fun. I, no, John, I'm 64. I look at it from up here. <laughs> Good three-wide battle yeah, again, yeah. right behind your leader. Six is smoking away. Let's see where the 27 is, second place car. I believe just now right there, coming right by. Here, so coming he, by. Is, he is about a half lap behind. Right, that's our second place car. And then there's the, where's the 67 hiding out? Joshua Martin starting to show some smoke in that number six car. Three wide out of turn a, two. Our leader returns to a safe landing area. Still three wide. On a 67, he's having some problems, that 67 CT. That's our third place runner coming by the start finish line right now. The 95 and the five were like trading some fisticuffs. Yeah, that's a good race. The 67 and the five car pretty close to each other. Meanwhile, Back at the ranch. The zero one car continues at a slow pace. Mm -hmm. Chugging around. Staying out of trouble. So far, so good. 27 car, Alan Coach Jr. running second. Okay. 
Here comes our leader. The Maddie Tire, all the way down from Massachusetts, Middleborough, Massachusetts. Uh, the 5X five is X, 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 yeah. pooped out. Yeah. Tough break for that driver. Good run for Jim Bavalaco. Done. Yeah. So we're down to the final 15, John. We've had a pretty good stretch. What do we have? Like almost 50 laps that we've run? Three cars going after All it right, right here, including uh, the 27 and the 01 car guy machine. 5X is staying out, uh, Dave. Uh, okay, he's not giving up just yet. And once he gets by that zero one, he should be good for a while. As there is 13 to go. And now we look for the 27, what'd you say? Oh! Yeah, that got and a little hairy. Yeah, exactly, and that would have been right in front of the second place runner, the six and the 11 coming together. Meanwhile, the three gets around the 73. Down the back stretch we go. And our second place runner is gonna come into some trouble. Yeah, three and four wide yeah, right there. Exactly. So he got rid of one. Can he get rid of two? three as one car goes way up high. Oh. The five continue. Boy, we thought we were going to, he was going to drop out that Milford Auto Center car. 27 goes by. Here comes the leader, John, and we're down to 10 to go. 10 laps for car number eight, Richard Johnson. Good battle in turn three between the three, the uh, the uh, Mazda zero one, and it looks like the uh, ninety seven. Our leader has whittled it down. We're at single digits on the scoreboard. Jim Bavalaco and that five X decides to pull it way up high in turn number three, but keeps on ticking. Like a Timex watch. Joshua Martin, a smoke show down the backstretch, and a half lap lead for car number eight. So he is in the relative safety zone. Adam Gray in front of him. Here comes our leader now. He's going to make it interesting going to turn number one. Oh, yeah. These are Enduros. Uh, nothing easy about winning an Enduro as he goes down the backstretch. He's got several cars still to deal with. So it's the eight, the 27, and the five are our top three as we head into the final six laps as our leader crosses the line. You know what's different about an Enduro? The what? geese don't hang out. No, the geese, no, too much, uh, too much, too much smoke. Yeah. and a danger. It's a exactly. dangerous Exactly, they could be a, a, an <laughs> ex-geese. <laughs> the five is, I, I don't know, is he giving up this time? I'd give it another lap. Oh, yeah, uh, really no, lazy. yeah he's, he's going to go. Why not? He might be going for the slowest <laughs> of the race to war. <laughs> We're not going to put timing and scoring on him. Oh, He's going to get three. clocked. Oh, that was close. Five laps to go as the leader goes by. Four down. Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson, I think, in turn one on lap number one, galloped to the front, survived everything so far. So far. Leader coming around tower number four right now. There he is. Let's see where the 27's at. And the 27 is definitely catching him, but uh, he's running out yeah, of time. Yeah, John, there, there's going to be not enough time for this to happen. As we are down to the final two, here comes our leader, Richard Johnson. Leader. I mean, John, right, Richard Johnson. Yep. Then it's the 27 is second, Alan Coates Jr., and the 67 has come all the way back, and that's Robert Jones. Uh, 
67 CT, Glenn Marion Jr. And I think once he gets by the 95 and the white flag lap, John, I think you're going to put this one in the books. Down the back stretch, the final time under the Beamer scoreboard into turn number three. He has survived 75 laps of compact enduro action coming off turn number four. It'll be the number eight crossing the line. And that is Richard, uh, Richard Johnson. Then it is the 27 who comes home second. Alan Coates Jr., Glenn Marion Jr. in the 67 CT is third. And fourth will be the number five, Justin Provost. I didn't pick the spot they drove it for us, so I'll take it and it's get out front, get a good lead. And I was just trying to catch second and third and follow them the rest of the way. and. Got a little roughed up in traffic a couple times. I thought the car was going to be done, but I got lucky and uh, just held on for 75 laps. Yeah, man, you come down from Middleborough, Massachusetts. I'm sure you've done this a few times before. Once or twice, but uh, no, I appreciate you guys doing this. Enduro's a dying. Want to see him keep going, so I try and get out to all of them that I can and just support the local short tracks. All right, what kind of race car we got here today? It's uh, Nissan Maxima. All right, Nissan Maxima, I know you got some sponsors. Yeah, I just got to uh, thank Maddie Tyre back home in Middleborough, who's been uh, supporting me for years, and uh, my dad for helping me out, and everyone who puts up with it. It was a half-track length victory. Congratulations, Richard Johnson. Thank you. I appreciate it.